Hey guys, I'm getting this video started. Even though I've already recorded one thing, but it's going to go at the end of the video. Um, I'm getting started with a little chat because I want to talk to you a little bit about yesterday's video. And I don't know if you're going to have any questions about that or not, but if you do, feel free to ask questions. If you saw it, if you didn't see it, then um, I will try to remember to link it. I'm not real good about that. <laughs> but uh, yesterday, I showed y'all some of the mobile home that we um, are hoping to get. And as I said, there is a stipulation with the mobile home that he wants us to have our own property before we purchase the mobile home from him and his wife. And the reason why, I think the reason why is so that we don't buy something and we can't do anything with it because we can't live where it's at right now. Um, it's on family property and we can't live there. So it would just be sitting there and we couldn't do anything with it. And then he'd be responsible for it but it'd be ours, you know, that kind of situation. Now, I'm not sure if that's why he didn't say that, but I have um, zero problems with it, and I think he's looking out for us and him, you know. So, I think it's a good idea. So, anyways, whatever property we get, that is the mobile home we're most likely going to buy, unless, like, as far as we know, this land deal is not going to go bad. It should be fine. There shouldn't be any ish issues with it. But you never know. There always could be something. It's not a done deal yet, you know. But if something happen happened and something did go bad with this, that would still be the mobile home that I would want unless we bought something that already had something on it. And then we still might would want it for Noah to fix up and have because he's not going to want to live with us forever. So, um, I know that I've had people wondering why we would want to move from a brick home to a mobile home. I know we have had people wondering why we're moving. So, if you have any questions that I don't answer here go ahead and leave them in the comments but i want to answer some of those things i want to kind of tell you our whys one this house is too big for us once both of our children are not in it anymore it's four bedroom two bath i mean the two bath is not a big deal but it has a living room and a family room and it's just really a lot of house and we don't really need this much house once it's just me and Jeff. We could look for a small house that's like a brick and mortar, whatever you want to call it, you know. We, we don't have to live in a mobile home, but we're not, we don't object to mobile homes either. And we were very comfortable in the mobile home we lived in before we moved here. We didn't have any issues other than it needed work. They were, it was, it was old. <laughs> But anyway, um, we, we don't have any objections to living in a mobile home. And actually, I kind of like it because the way that a mobile home is built, it's like you can do whatever you want without worrying about like load-bearing walls and all these different things. And you don't have to think about a lot of things to change it. It's like a canvas that you can just do whatever you want which we're not going to be changing the wall structures in that mobile home but i'm just saying you can um but i feel like we just have too much house now another reason why that we um well we have too much house we had too much house even with both kids at home really we did we do <laughs> whenever they were both here it was still too much house for four of the four of us that's okay too um another reason why we want to move is because we want to have acreage we want to live where we can have other animals and things and so that's another reason 
Another reason is we want to get out of the city. We don't like living in a city. We're not city people. Um, I know I've lived in a city at times in my life, but it's not this big of a city. And it didn't feel like a city exactly when I did live in a city, if that makes sense. Um, another reason is my mama is getting older. His parents are getting older, and we want to be around family more. We have not been around our families much in the last almost 11 years. Not because we just never went around them, but we just, you know, whenever you live in a closer proximity, you see each other more often than if you live an hour or more away. So we, we just haven't, we, we just, want the option if we want to go see somebody in our family we can just go 10 minutes 20 minutes down the road that kind of thing um it's where jeff is from like it's well it's not where he was born but it's where he lived most of his life and it's where that we whenever we were first married it's where we brought our children home that is the county we brought our children home to from the hospital is where that they were not they weren't born in that county but that's where that their home their first home was and i don't know it just always felt like a place that we we wanted to be um so we want to move back towards family the other reason why for the mobile home is I want to do stuff to it that I can't do in this house because this house is not the correct, like, um, it's not situated correctly, I guess. I don't know how to explain it. Like, the rooms don't work for that. <laughs> or whatever I don't know it's 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 a good house there's nothing wrong with the house it's just we've outgrown it or we've we haven't outgrown it <laughs> we just want smaller <laughs> we want less but um, also we will be out of debt very quickly by doing this and I don't know if I already said that or not but if we're not in debt then that means maybe Jeff doesn't have to work so hard. And I know I could get a job, which he doesn't want me to with my health issues and stuff. I could get a job, but any job I got, because it's been so long since I worked, I wouldn't really make much money. I wouldn't even make enough to really have paid for the gas that it took to go to work. And things like that, which he doesn't want me working anyway because of my health issues. But, um, like yesterday, whenever I was trying to film in the mobile home, for whatever reason, I was fine when I got up and everything, but for whatever reason, after we got down there, after a little while, my sciatic nerve started acting up, and oh my goodness, to stand up hurt so bad. So, I kind of, I didn't realize that I was speeding through the rooms when I was filming it until after I had done it and it was too late and I was already home and I was looking at it and I'm like, wow, I could have done better. I should have gone slower because one reason why I was filming it is so we could look at it and, you know, say, okay, we want to do this, this, or this. We do have a lot of plans for that mobile home. We're going to bring you along with us. And it's not going to be like constant construction. It's not going to be like that. It's not going to be where that we are filming everything we do and showing you every little thing we do. We're not doing that. It's not tutorials. I mean, there might be something we show you how we're doing something every once in a while. Because it, I think it's a neat trick that he knows or something or... A neat thing that he I mean Jeff has so much knowledge about this stuff that sometimes I want to brag on him <laughs> which is fine brag on your spouse is a good thing but I might be showing you things like that but we have a lot of happy dreams about this we're hoping that it all goes through the way we want it to 
and um, we want to ask your prayers for all of it to work out and for us to um, to be able to get there and we won't be able to prep like we do now we won't be able to do a lot of things like we do now with the space wise but honestly we have so much stuff we don't need it and it's okay to let it go so I think it's gonna be a really good thing to downsize we're, we're trying to figure out like ways we can use what we have I'm still trying to figure out how I'm gonna get my desk in there because I really don't want to let it go and Jeff keeps telling me I can build you a new one I can build you a new one I built that one I can build you a new one but y'all the thing is like so many things that Jeff has built has been for us and yes it's because I asked for it it's yes because I think it's pretty or I, I have an idea but this is he built this for me like he built it specifically for me the way I asked for it to be built and it's like he did it for me like so it means more because he did it was special because Jeff did it for me and I, I explained that to him and I explained to him that was why he said well I can build you another one I can build you another one I can build you a better one and I'm like okay <laughs> but this one's different <laughs> but you did this but we could also use the wood on this one for building something else spectacular in the new home so I don't know yet <laughs> We're gonna have to wait and see but i may have to downsize the size of my desk which is fine or else change that like have an l shaped instead of just a straight one but that's all right too but anyway i've been talking for 12 minutes the only thing i'm doing today is cooking dinner with you guys i'm cooking beef tips and rice and i think i'm gonna cut up a cucumber i don't know if i've said this already in the video if i have please forgive me because i have tried to record this a couple times and i got like way off track but I'm gonna be doing that and then like I said I had already started the video because I did some dishes but those will be at the very end just for a little cleaning motivation I did wash clothes today and I have filmed two other videos that are for my planners so um, I have done that but y'all won't see those till later I just haven't filmed anything else because I haven't done anything else that I was filming today because I've been busy doing other things which is what normally happens on this day and also that and also me uh, editing the weekend vlog which I'm sorry that vlog was very short and strange <laughs> but I hope that maybe you know you got something from it I don't know what but anyway I'm gonna go cook some suppers <laughs> so I'll be right back okay guys I'm well I kind of already started with the beef tips because I didn't want to cut the meat up and do the garlic and all that stuff um, on camera today I went ahead and did all that now I don't know if all of you know because you know I don't know who I was watching but we buy our meat in like big chunks and then we cut it up ourselves so it's cheaper than it would be to buy it already cut up for somebody else to do it and we have videos where that we've done it before on here but I mean if you don't feel comfortable doing it then it's fine buy yours already done it's you know we have the access to the um, machines or not machines but like we have a cuber for a cube steak and we have all the things to do it with but the main thing you need is the knowledge and my husband has actually butchered things before so he has the knowledge and he's taught me things so if it's a skill you'd like to learn it's a wonderful one to save you money but you don't have to do that don't even know why I'm talking about it I just am so I kind of made a mistake though I didn't think about it till just now but I'm gonna put everything in here anyway so it really doesn't matter I usually add my garlic a little bit after everything else is cooking but I just crushed the garlic on into this bowl instead of 
you know, waiting. And that's all right, though. So this is just some roast that's cut up into beef tips. There's olive oil and butter. And there's garlic in there. And I'm taking another shortcut because Jeff and I had cut up a lot of onion a while back that we got really great price and I'm going to use some of it in here and I want a pretty good bit of onion so I got two of the bags out. I don't know why I want so much onion other than maybe it's because I don't have any of the peppers. Usually I will use um, what Mr. Tom calls lunchbox peppers. Some people call them snacking peppers. Um, they're just a sweet little pepper that you can use. And I'm going to get this stuff into the garbage and dishwasher and wash my hands and then I'm going to season this. I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm going to be seasoning it a little bit different than I normally do. I normally put Worcestershire sauce in here, but I'm not going to do that today just because I want to try some of this buttery steakhouse. And I usually put seasoned salt in it, but I'm not doing that either because I want to try the buttery steakhouse. But I am still going to use the garlic and herb. This has no salt in it at all. This is just garlic and herbs, like kind of like Mrs. Dash, but this is the Flavor Mate brand, and um, we like it. I need to fill it back up, but I want to wait until this is all gone. I think that I used the last bit of a thing, or maybe I opened a new one last time. I don't remember. Anyway, I put a good amount in there, probably a tablespoon or a tablespoon and a half, and then I'm just going to try this just to see if we like it. And this has some of the same stuff in it, the herbs and stuff, but it's got the buttery flavor. Now, it does have salt in it, but it's got onion, garlic, spices, bell pepper, parsley, um, and turmeric, and the butter flavor. It's got more things in it that are not, it's like the, uh, is this even, yes, Ryan, what was it, the yeast extract is what it said. Anyway, this is black pepper. I need to refill it up too. Y'all, we didn't fill all the things yesterday. The only thing I filled was um, my vitamins and my medicine. That's the only thing I did. And so I just had to fill up the olive oil a little bit ago because we didn't do it. Now we have plenty of things that um, we don't have to worry about filling everything up. Like, the laundry stuff is full enough. The dish, the cleaning stuff is full enough. The spices are really full enough, but they're not completely full. But anyways, I've got this going, and I'm just going to cook it on about medium heat to let it cook through and let the... I want that meat to... Um, get softer you know like be tender that's the word so I'm gonna cook this and let it cook up for however long it takes to get it cooked and I've also got my little instant pot already over here I've got my rice in there and some butter and salt but I don't have my water in it yet because I don't want to start that part yet so it is um, two parts liquid one part rice is the way you do it if you're cooking rice. I'm going to turn it up just a tiny bit, but I've got it over there on, on that side. So I'm going to get that going in just a minute or a few minutes. I'm going to let this cook some, but I will come back whenever supper's done, I guess, because really I'm not showing y'all much. I've just been talking mostly this video. And if there's anything else I figure out that I'm going to share with y'all, I will. But we're just trying this buttery steakhouse seasoning with that and not put the seasoned salt and not put the Worcestershire sauce. Now, the only reason I'm doing that is because I want to know how it tastes. It's not for any other reason. I just want to know. <laughs> I'm curious. And I do have a couple different ways that I do cook beef tips. One of them has no Worcestershire sauce, but it has this, the, um, I always put the garlic and herb seasoning in it, but it has the seasoned salt, garlic and herb, and pepper, 
but that's it. And then I have the way that I do it with all of that, plus the Worcestershire sauce. And, I don't know, I just wanted to try this. And if it's a flop, we'll eat it anyway. If it's a good thing, that's good. But I'll bring you back whenever it's done, I guess. But, oh, I am also, the reason why we used the onions that were frozen, which made this cool down a lot, a lot, <laughs> a lot more than I wanted it to. But the reason why we're using those is because we're trying to clear out one of our freezers because we're not going to be able to have somewhere to put both of them. We don't think. We don't know, though. But, yeah, still trying to downsize. But we're not getting rid of our freezer. We're just going to store it. <laughs> I'll be back. Okay, so there's the cucumbers, the beef tips, and the rice that I need to floof but I haven't done yet. So that's our supper, and I'm going to taste this to see if I like it and I'll let you guys know. Okay, I'm just going to taste the meat because, like I said, this is the first time we've done it this way, or I've done it this way, <laughs> with um, that seasoning. So I'm going to taste it. See if I like this as much as I like the other two ways. I mean, it's good. But I do think I like the kind with the Worcestershire sauce better. But this is good. I would do it again.
I will see you guys again tomorrow. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I do appreciate it. If you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button. If you like my channel, go ahead and subscribe and hit the bell to so be notified whenever I upload. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know how you're doing. Share this with a friend if you'd like to. And remember, don't take any wooden nickels and be sweet.